right now and we're just looking around. That's what we do in outlets, just looking around all the time. It's a mini coach purse. I'm at the Manchester Premium Outlets and we go to outlets almost each time we travel. We just found out that there's a pack sun here. I'm so happy. So I'm gonna go and I have a budget here. I'm not gonna say it, but I'm just saying that it's starting now from Pack Sun. So let's go to Pack Sun. Let's see what they have here. Is that brandy? I don't think so. I think that's part of brandy because it's John Galt. And I've seen this at Brandy before. It could be brandy, maybe. We're probably gonna go 10 times, but let's go. I went to Starbucks again. Every single trip we go to Starbucks. I just got to the hotel and it's the W Hotel in Boston. There's a juice dispenser. I'm gonna taste it. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna grab a little glass. I was so thirsty in the car. I really need to get a drink. That's hella good. Oh my god. That's the room tour. We enter and we see the hallway, kind of. And that's the bathroom. Over here, that's the toilet. And that's the shower. It's pretty big. The sink area, oh my gosh. This will do such cute mirror pics. The sink and some products. Some life water. Face towels, glasses, you know. Then there's a big mirror for an outfit check. And then we come in and that's our room. It's a really nice art deco decor. I really like it. Some snacks up there and some alcohol coffee station with Nespresso you know I love my Nespresso a sitting area and this piece of art well is it art it's probably art and that's the view of Boston a sofa and the beds I found something in the bathroom and it's so funny it's a painting of Edgar Allan Poe and it's it's hilarious because I used to do like projects in English about him and that was like the theme of the beginning of the year and it's literally in our bathroom I'm gonna show you it's so funny that is Edgar Allan Poe I'll start to unpack and then I'll see what I want to get for dinner but that's not really in our plans yet so you'll see later what I eat for dinner for now I'll unpack and get all comfortable in our room my first impressions are amazing this hotel is a five-star hotel in the center of Boston and it's perfect. I kind of feel like Boston is a mini version of New York. My dad managed to connect his phone to the TV speaker and now we're playing Drake in the hotel room. We're gonna walk to dinner right now. We're gonna eat at a seafood place. What is it called? Legal seafood, I think. Legal seafood. That's Boston. That's my outfit for tonight. A little warmer because it's chilly and really windy here. Not right now because like we're surrounded by buildings, but really nice here. It's kind of like New York. It makes me feel like it's New York. Now it's like 7:15 p.m. I think, and we're walking. It only takes eight minutes to walk from the W Hotel to the seafood place. I love seafood, especially calamari, and I really want to eat calamari. I have like a craving, so I'm excited to eat that tomorrow we're gonna see Newberry Street basically we're visiting the whole city by walk I took a starter because I have a California roll, sushi from the sushi menu. That's a lobster roll with no mayo and a lobster roll with mayo. back from dinner we went to legal seafood i rate it a 10 out of 10. the restaurant is pretty fancy itself but not too fancy and the food was so tasty i would go back again but we have many other things to try so we're not gonna go back we also went to cvs so i'm gonna do a haul of what we bought at cvs we don't have cvs in canada so for us it's pretty special first of all we got some chocolates dark chocolate and mint i think or is it just regular chocolate 
I don't know, kind bars with almonds and whole grains. My coffee for tomorrow, there's almond milk and caramel flavor. Plant-based chocolate. Hershey's plant-based chocolate with oat milk. How cool is that? And I also want to do a taste test. That's it for CVS. I will do a taste test of the chocolate because it looks really good. And I never had Hershey's vegan chocolate before. By the way, this concludes it for today's vlog. I will start again tomorrow. That's the chocolate. It's Hershey's plant-based chocolate. It really tastes like oat milk, but I love it. It's like sweet and oaty. I like it. I'll see you tomorrow. We got Panera again. That's an almond milk cold brew. That's a sandwich. It's egg white, cheese, avocado, spinach. Good morning, everyone. Today we're walking a lot. We just finished breakfast at Panera, and that's my outfit a gray t shirt, jeans, and white shoes. Super basic. We're walking and exploring the city. We're gonna eat at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. This is gonna be like one of the best parts of this trip. None of your work is the same. Look at these stairs, that's gorgeous. Wow. Apparently there's fancy stores here. This is Copley Place, a Simon shopping center, and we're walking around. We went to Saks Fifth Avenue for my dad, and that's like a pretty nice shopping center here. There's a lot of high-end stores, and I like it. Fun fact, here in Boston, the shops open later. It's a rainy day today, so it's a perfect day to go shopping indoors, and after that, we'll go eat at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. Oh, that's Aritzia. Maybe I have like one shirt from Aritzia, but I I don't really shop here. the other side of the Copley Place. There's a walkway to go from Copley Place to Prudential Center and there's Italy. Italy is kind of like an Italian grocery store and you can eat there. I went to before in Las Vegas. There was an aloe yoga and I never went to aloe yoga before. There was some sweatpants but I didn't buy anything. Crazy, it rains so much. I don't usually cry at all But wow is it always close that's a tomato and ricotta salad, a Caesar salad, and a shrimp cocktail. That's my mocktail. It's called Life's a Beach. That's a beet vegan burger, the lobster spaghetti, and a steak and fries. That's the chocolate tart and the chocolate shavings too. From a movie scene to main the whole meal was delicious and the desserts were decadent. Oh my gosh, I am so full but I'm so happy. I got the chocolate tart and I almost got the sticky toffee pudding but I'm actually really glad that I got the tart because I could taste like both desserts when we share. So it's pretty rainy outside and we're done eating here so we'll go shopping now. It's downstairs. Okay, so let's go downstairs. Smallest store, biggest part. Oh, okay, so there's almond butter and peanut butter. Look how cute this is, PB&J dip snacks. In my dreams, the last time if I recall Was a feeling of being alone I don't know if... I always wear it with my skirt at school, but school's ending in a month, so it's not worth it. Where I'm going isn't far yeah, I'm more of a gold person, right? Yeah, For my jewelry. Good. I mean, yeah, gold. I could have gold. These ones. Yeah, gold would be better. Yeah, we got so much stuff. I'm gonna do a big haul after that. The tour that we 
just did is called a duck tour and it's a tour that goes on land and in water it goes all around the city of Boston and they tell you about the historical facts about it and they also tell you about the monuments, the universities I got a bunch of cultural knowledge now about Boston I'm really happy we did it and in the water it was really nice because we saw Cambridge and Boston from one side to another now we're trying to find something to eat for dinner by the way the bus tour lasts about like an hour and 20 minutes which is really good because it's long enough to like spend some time but not too long like two hours which is like way too long I really like it I would definitely recommend it it's in every city with water just like Boston is surrounded by water that's the hallway well I guess like the pathway from one mall to another but in case I go no need to be stressed gotta take it home this day I really miss the shade of blue I want to do a haul of everything that I got at Brandy it's on the bed right there and I really want to show everything that I got because they have really different things from Montreal and I spent almost all my budget on the Brandy stuff I will go through it with you first of all these are all the stickers and pins from Brandy I take some for my friends too I took a lot of stickers but the cashier literally said like take as many as you want over there these are sweatpants navy blue sweatpants and they're really soft I have them in many colors and it's always a basic to have when you go to Brandy Melville then I got this Boston crew neck in navy blue but like a lighter navy blue it says Boston on it and I had to get it because it looks so good and we're in Boston right now so why not buy one another Boston shirt this one is a big t-shirt and it's great it says Boston in blue and it's oversized so it's perfect to go with shorts or as a pajama after that, this is a long sleeve in gray, but it's wide neck, so we see the shoulders, and it's also a crop top. It's really simple, and it goes with everything. Then I got this blouse. There's holes in it, so it's kind of like a net texture, but I like it. It's a navy blue, and there's buttons all the way down. Next up is this t-shirt. It's a crop top, and there's a motorcycle on it. It's a wide neck t-shirt, so it's really flowy, but it shows a lot of the body, and I like it because it's a crop top. Next is this Switzerland t-shirt. I like the logo, it looks cute. Gold earrings. Then I got some black jeans. Pretty basic black jeans. These are baggy black jeans, and I don't even have black jeans. Here it says low-waisted cargo pants. They're really long, so of course I'll need to crop them. And the last thing is this green hoodie. Thank you for watching my Boston vlog number one. I'll see you for Boston vlog number two next week. Bye!